Hi friends, welcome to Morph Layer 2 Testnet and welcome to a drop spot. So to begin this testnet interaction, we are going to be heading over to sepoliafaucet.com and here we are going to claim our sepolia ETH that we are going to be using for this testnet interaction. So to use sepolia faucet, you need to first log in. If you do not have an account previously, then you need to create one and then log in, then paste your wallet address in the box for wallet address and then complete the capture, then tap on send me ETH. So your test tokens will arrive in your wallet almost instantly. Now let's head over to the testnet website. You are going to find all of the links I used in this video in the comment section for your convenience. So connect your wallet to Morph. Now I am previously on Polygon network so I have to switch my network to Sepolia to be able to use Morph website. So now that I am done switching my network, there are two tasks that we need to do here and the first task is to deposit Sepolia ETH into Morph ETH and the second task is to deposit to withdraw Morph ETH back into Sepolia ETH. So, to begin with, you are going to stay on the deposit tab and then you are going to enter the amount and then you are going to complete the bridging. However, you will notice that my balance is not showing currently and I actually have over one Sepolia ETH and in a situation where it cannot detect my balance, then that means the transaction will not go through. Let me do a sample. So I'll be bridging 0.2 Sepolia into Morph. Then let's tap on deposit and then see what happens next. So you can see cannot read properties of undefined. So eventually I figured it out that the reason why it cannot detect my balance was because there is something wrong with the RPC settings of the Sepolia network on my MetaMask. So, so I had to change my Sepolia RPC settings manually to what you are seeing on my screen right here. I'm also going to have it in the comment section. For your convenience now that i have changed my rpc settings i refreshed the website and then you can see that my balance is showing now if i go ahead and do the bridging then it is going to go through seamlessly okay so i'm going to be bridging 0.1 sepolia eth over to morph eth so tap on enter the amount and then tap on send eth to morph testnet tap on deposit Now, after initiating the transaction, it is going to take at least 20 minutes before this transaction can be completed. So, I am back after 20 minutes and then you can see that the funds have arrived on layer 2, okay? So, now I'm going to switch over to the withdraw tab and we are also going to bridge our Morph ETH back to Sepolia ETH. And this is going to require you to switch your network to Morph. So, tap on switch network. Now you are going to enter the amount of Morph ETH that you want to send over to Sepolia ETH. However, you need to take note that uh, the gas fee itself is 0.05 ETH. So you have to put that into consideration before you send over your funds to Morph because out of the 0.1 ETH that I have, I cannot bridge up to 0.05 because of the gas fee. So I'll be bridging just 0.02 right now. So tap on send ETH to, to Sepolia. Now for this part to be successful, there are about three steps that you need to go through. So the first is to tap on initiate transaction, then tap on confirm in your wallet. Now you are going to have to wait for about five minutes before you can do the next step. However, you can just tap on view account so that you would see what you need to do. Tap on check. So you are going to wait for about 5 minutes and then come back to confirm this transaction. 
So it's 5 minutes later and to confirm this transaction, I have to switch back to Sepolia ITH. Tap on Switch Network. Now it may seem as if you can't find that page again, do not worry, just tap on your wallet address at the top of your screen, then tap on Transactions. Then tap on Withdraw because that is what we are doing currently. Tap on Prove. Now it's 5 minutes later and then you can prove your withdrawal now, so tap on Prove. Then confirm in your wallet. Now lastly after proving, it is still going to take you some 10 to 20 minutes again before you'll be able to complete this step. So it's about 10 minutes later and then you can come back and then tap on claim withdrawal. And this is the final step of you bridging from layer 2 to layer 1. Confirm in your wallet. And that's it, the transaction is successful and we are done with the morph testnet. However, we are not done with this video yet. So the next thing is to go over to girls and then join their campaign and claim out. You can find the link to their girls campaign in the comment section as well. So all of the tasks available here are majorly social tasks and a few tasks that we have done before. So I will just come back once I am done but let's just go through what we have here. So this task is to claim Sepolia ETH, we've already done that at the beginning of this video. This one is to join the Discord server and have the verified role. And this is to join their Telegram. This is to join to go and read their testnet documentation. And so the, all these are just simple tasks. I'll just come back once I'm done. Okay, lastly, this one requires you to have BitGet wallet. And what you can do is to install BitGet wallet and then you are going to import your MetaMask seed phrase in your wallet. So I am done completing all the tasks. Then I am going to switch over to BNB mainnet right now. Tap on claim mode and 10 points. Then confirm in your wallet, you need just 10 cents of BNB mainnet. So OT and Point successfully claimed and then we are done with this testnet interaction. Well, I do not have any information as to whether this testnet is incentivized or not. Then, since it does not, you know, it is not hard to do. Yes, it takes some time, but it is not hard to do. So why not just do it? And if there is reward for participation in the testnet later, then we are going to be part of the beneficiaries. So this is the end of today's video. If you have any question, drop me a comment in the comment section of this video. If you have found value in any of my content, then do well to give me a like on this video and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another tutorial.